What's up guys? Hope you're doing well. Hey, I want to share about somebody that encourages me that has blessed my life. And his name is Larry Jones. Happens to be his birthday today. And really I want to talk about Larry and Madeline and their kids. Because the Jones family has been the best family to try to keep up with. <laughs> um, I really do want to testify, seriously, uh, that, yeah, just, just God has just used the Joneses in so many ways. Madeline, Larry's wife, uh, was my coworker for six years or something like that, and worked a ton together every day, pretty much, and just never, never had a fight. Never went, never went home mad at Madeline. <laughs> and it wasn't because we were just stuffing things under a rug. It was just like actually great, positive, productive, difficult work, but with a great spirit. And that just speaks so much to the culture of uh, their family. And Larry specifically. Uh, met Larry my sophomore year at college. We were running routes in a hotel room on a spring break mission trip. And instead of footballs, we were tossing little Sour Patch Kids. So if you make a dive and catch, you get to chew up that little kid. A little flavor burst. Uh, Larry, though, I, I just love Larry so much. He's been uh, just an amazing, constant uh, source of friendship for me. Disc golf, joys, accountability. He's like a... I mean, so the first few years of knowing him, he was like someone I knew of. And around the time when he got married uh, to Madeline is around the time where I got closer with both of them. Uh, I was relatively close to Larry already because we were just in a lot of similar leadership circles and just always appreciated his joy and his attitude. But when he got married, um, and then maybe a year later or so, I don't actually know, maybe the same year, uh, the Roos's got married. Uh, basically, the Roos's marriage was this gap that was bridged between me and Megan and Larry and Madeline. And ultimately, Megan, me, and Allison Roos, and Christian, Larry, and Madeline, Christian Roos, came from different friend circles within college. And when Christian and Allison got married, it just it just brought us together, guys. <laughs> and those two couples together um, have just been by far our best friends as young adults and young families. Young families. And it's just like, you just can't put a price on a peer that you're inspired by, that challenges you, that will call you out. It's simple stuff. It's stuff you need from any good friend, but you know, that you can put in your will, you know, who's going to take care of your kids, who, who are you going to give keys to your house, like who are you going to share everything with, who are you going to confess your sin to at different times, who are you going to encourage on their birthday, <laughs> and who, like, who are your kids going to spend time with, and how do you know that their kids are healthy, it's like you got to trust the health of their home and how do you know the health of their home it's by knowing the health of the parents the health of their marriage and so just that level of vulnerability and joy and laughter I mean so much fun you know just trips we've gotten to take together um, Larry and I last year for his birthday got to go up to this random town in Kansas to watch Worlds and got to watch uh, Paul McBeth secure I think his sixth title sorry Larry if it was his seventh title Larry's much more into pro disc golf than I am. But it was awesome to get to watch these dudes just chunk it and feel like, what have I been doing? We're not playing the same game. Because these guys are on another level. Uh, but Larry, um, as in Enneagram 3, is just awesome because he's so excellent at so many things. And his drive for excellence is really high. His drive for achievement is really high which pushes me to more action than I otherwise would take. 
like Larry, before I was ever, ever passionate about business, was like daydreaming all the time about what business he was going to start. And so like, how can you put a price on all those conversations? Before I was ever into active stock investing, or maybe at least at the same time, Larry was super into it. And he was definitely more into active management on a shorter time frame, you know, on a, on a month or six month or year time frame, rather than just like buying and holding for life, uh, which is what I was more familiar with. And so his just opportunisticness, also his handiness, has just been so clutch. Guys, if you ever come over and you look at the pictures on our wall or something like that, and you're like, wow, those are some well-hung pictures. Guess what? We didn't hang those pictures. We called Larry, okay? Literally anything that requires any skill with your hands and your head combined. I am inept. I can't do it. I'm so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it, but I am bad. But Larry is so talented with his hands. And so he's used that to serve our family so, so, so many times. And I could keep going, but I'm already super late. Uh, and so Megan would probably like me to come inside. But I just want to testify, Larry Jones, his friendship has meant so much to me in so many ways. I've gave, given you a couple reasons already, but I seriously could keep going. But I got to go. Happy birthday, Larry. That's all I got for y'all today. Life is worship. God is love.